friends, welcome back to day three, I think. Three? Yeah. I think it's day three of Vlogmas. I'm pre-filming these, so who knows? Um, anyway, I want to tell you about the 21 horror books that I want to read in 2021. So if you're keeping track, I did 21 yesterday, I'm doing 21 today. That's 42. Yes, that's a lot of books. I did read over 100 books this year, and I want to just continue to read more next year. I'm torturing myself, but it's okay. We're going to do it. So again, sort of like yesterday, um, I tried to do more books that I own. That is my goal for the year. It's one of my reading goals for the year, 2021. Read books that I own. So let's dig into it. Number one. Top of my list. Let the Right One In by John Evide Lindquist. And um, this book is about vampires, I believe. I believe the this young girl is a vampire and it's about her friendship with a boy. That's all I really know. Um, apparently the movie's really good, the book's really good, and I've never read anything by this author and I would really, really like to. Um, next we have The Deep by Nick Cutter, which I have on Kindle. And this book is about, I believe, creatures at um, in the bottom of the ocean. I read The Troop by Nick Cutter in 2019, maybe. Really, really loved it. Really gross. Um, body horror galore. I'm hoping this is in the same realm. Um, not necessarily body horror, but just creepy and gross. And I'm hoping that Nick Cutter becomes an author for me. Um, next, I would like to read Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Um, I have read two Grady Hendrix books. I've read My Best Friend's Exorcism and this other book called Guide to Miss Slaying Vampires. Um, and yeah, I would like to get to this. I believe this was his first book and this is basically a horror book that takes place in Ikea or an Ikea-esque store. And it's really interesting inside because it looks like an Ikea catalog on different pages so yeah very interested in that let me know down below what your favorite Grady Hendrix book is um I know there's we sold our souls and um is there another one I mean apart from paperbacks for hell from hell I can't remember let me know what your favorite Grady Hendrix book is down below I just want to know um da -da. Um, then we have The Cipher by Kathy Koja. Uh, this is a re-release of a book that came out in the 90s. And I believe there is like a pit or a hole in this couple's basement or closet. And um, they start putting stuff into it to see what happens. Um, yeah, I got this. Um, well, I got one of my copies from Nightworms and I got another one that I just bought myself when it came out. So I'm giving one as a gift. Next we have The House Next Door by Anne River Siddons. It says, it is for sale. Pray no one buys it ever again. I think it's a haunted house story about this house in a neighborhood. And um, yeah, this is a classic vintage kind of horror that I'm really trying to get more into um, that era of horror. And I love haunted house stories. Um, next we have The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. I believe this is a vampire book. And it maybe has to do with history. I don't know, but I've heard such good things. This is another chunker. It's over 600 pages, so it scares me a little bit. But I'm still really, really interested to read this one. And I've had it for a little while. And yeah, I want to get to it. God, if they gave an award for worst book synopsis, it probably would go to me. <sighs> uh, next, we have Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. I really don't know what this one is about because I do not want to. I don't want to spoil any part of this I think it has to do with is that a plant and bugs and it is nature and it's creepy I don't want to know I know it's weird I know Jeff Vandermeer writes weird books this is probably one of the ones I'm most excited to get to I've also I've never seen the movie or anything so I don't know anything about it the next book on my list is Phantoms by Dean Koontz and I'm assuming that it's downstairs on my shelf because I can't find it so I don't know <laughs> what this book is about but I have never read any Dean Koontz books, so I would like to give him a go. I know people are very hit or miss with him, but I think this one I picked is one of his more popular ones. 
Um, next we have The Silence of the Lambs by Thomas Harris. This is the second book in the Hannibal Lecter series. I read Red Dragon at the beginning of 2020 and really really enjoyed it and yeah The Silence of the Lambs is one of my favorite movies of all time so I'm probably really gonna enjoy this but yeah I want to read about Clarice and Hannibal Lecter. Uh, this book follows Clarice Starling. Uh, I'm basing this off the movie so it might be slightly incorrect but follows Clarice Starling who's a young woman who is in the FBI like I think she's training uh, to become part of the FBI and she is investigating trying to find this um serial killer and they're using Hannibal Lecter as a resource and you know talking to him and stuff um next on my list is Kill River by Cameron Rubik uh this is a slasher that takes place at a summer camp oh my gosh why have I thought oh okay it does Mysterious Water Park I thought I was crazy and that the I thought that I was always convinced this book took place at a water park because this does not look like a water park and then anyway it takes place at a water park it's mysterious it's abandoned it's creepy I think it's a slasher look at this cover it's iconic I think Cameron Ruby does his own covers and I own all three of the books in this series because I'm just so convinced I'm gonna love them um yeah it's just over 300 pages and I'm very very excited about this because it's indie and um that's something I've discovered this year that I liked is indie horror Hopefully my angle hasn't changed too much. I just spilled Prosecco all over my floor, so I gotta clean it up. Next on my list is Fantastic Land by Mike Bakovin. This is a book, actually, that also takes place at an amusement park. Um, this one's not a water park, it's an amusement park, and this group of people, I believe it's the people who work at this park, get trapped there for 30 days at least, maybe more. And I think it's, uh, the shit hits the fan and it goes crazy and I know this book is told in like interview type format so yeah I'm really interested in that. Um next I have Inspection by Josh Mallerman. I believe this is it takes place where there's two separate schools one for boys one for girls and I think they maybe discover that the other one each one discovers the other one exists maybe. This one doesn't have super high ratings um but I do like Josh Mallerman's writing so I'm gonna give it a go. Um, next is The Good House by Tanana Reeve Dew. This is one that I also have on ebook and I believe this is about a mother who has lost her son um, and then I think the house might be haunted as well. Maybe by him. I don't know. I've heard really good things. I've heard it's a good family story. Um, then I have Kill Hill Carnage by Tim Meyer and I believe this takes place at a summer camp and um, it's a slasher I'm very excited. That is a trope that I really do enjoy. Next I have Geek Love by Katherine Dunn. This is another one that I have on ebook and it is about a group of performers from a carnival I believe. That's all I know. I think it's weird. There may be body horror in it as well. Next I have The Deep by Alma Katsu. This is one that I have on audio and I read um, The Hunger by her. I believe that was earlier this year or in 2019 and that one's about the Donner Party. This one is about either the Titanic or the Britannica or Britannic. I'm not sure what it's called. It takes place on a ship. I've heard not great things about this one either but I do really like Alakatsu so I'm gonna give it a go. Next I have White is for Witching by Helen Oyoyemi. Um, this is another haunted house story. I believe this takes place in England. That's all I know. Lots of haunted house stories on this list. I didn't really realize that until I started doing it. I'm not mad about it. Not at all. Next we have Monster by Christopher Pike. And all I know about this one is that a girl has killed people because she said they were monsters. And I love Christopher Pike. Um, and I have just an arbitrary goal for my life to read all of his work. So yeah, I found a bunch of his at my used bookstore. And I'm just trying to read through what I have. Then we have Kin by Keelan Patrick Burke. This is um, one of the ones that I do not yet own, but I have been meaning to read this book for literal years and I, I don't know why I haven't read it. It um, A lot of people says it has Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibes and that's one of my favorite movies. So yeah, I'm expecting it to be gross and I'm really expecting to love it because everything I've read from Keelan Patrick Burke, I have really, really enjoyed. Next we have The Elementals by Michael McDowell, which is you guessed it, another haunted house story. Um, someone told me I should read this in summer. 
so I'm probably gonna do that. Okay, um, finally we have Come Closer by Sarah Gran, and um, I'm just gonna read you the synopsis. Uh, it's very short. If everything in Amanda's life is so perfect, then why the mood, swing mood swings? <laughs> the obscene thoughts, the urge to harm people she loves. What are those tapping sounds in the walls? And who's that woman following her? Sounds creepy. Trying to read more female horror, as always. And yeah. So those are the 21 books, horror books, 21 horror books that I would like to read in 2021. Um, it's a it's a lofty goal and I'm not going to beat myself up if I don't finish them. But I just kind of wanted some direction and like a list that I could go to if I'm like, I'm in the mood for horror. What should I read? Here's a list. Pick from these. That kind of vibe. Okay, so yes. Um, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments, of course, if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, what horror books are you looking forward to in 2021? Whether it's a backlist or a book that's coming out in 2021, let me know because I'm always on the hunt for new books. My TBR is never ending, but I will continue adding to it until the day I die. So, yeah. All right. And hit that subscribe button down below if you would like to follow more of the 12 days of Bookmas. And yeah, this will be going on for 12 days. And I think today was day three. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.